Tonight, from Los Angeles, the glamour capital of the world, 86 of the most beautiful women on earth will compete for one title, one crown, one chance of a lifetime. Live from the Shrine Auditorium, it's Miss Universe 2006. Carlos Ponce. And as you can see, the crowd behind us is going absolutely positively wild with anticipation of Miss Universe 2006. And when we say it's out of this world, we really mean it. Let's meet 86 gorgeous contestants right now, dressed up in their national costumes. And at the end of the night, one of these women will be named Miss Universe 2006. Here are the results in random order. Only five more to go and one slot goes to Paraguay. Paraguay. Now this was also a little bit of a surprise for me, but I can see why she made it in the top 20. She has an amazing body. I'm not so graceful on the snap and turn. There you was know, no snap. Swimsuit's one from the neck up here, and she doesn't have that energy. No, oh, I wasn't looking from the neck up. <laughs> a brave and devoted panel of judges made their selection of the top 10 contestants, and here are the results in random order. And finally, Rounding out the top 10 is Paraguay. Lourdes Zaravalos studies commercial engineering and intends to work for her family's interior design business. There they are, the top 10 contestants of Miss Universe 2006. Congratulations, ladies. Okay. My life philosophy is first and foremost, if you want it, you can do it. Always give 100% of the best of yourself and always maintain a positive mindset to achieve positive results so that you can bring out the best from everything that life brings you. Results from the judges in random order. Paraguay. Come on down, Paraguay. You know now we hear that you have a family business. We'd love to know what it is. Okay, um, mi trabajo mi familia, ¿verdad? Bueno, nosotros, eh, mis, mis abuelos comenzaron con, con una tienda de antigüedades, pasó de generación a mis padres y ahora yo soy la jefa, por decirlo así, del negocio de antigüedades y pasamos viajando, conociendo my libros. Business. Well, uh, my uh, grandparents started an antique shop and then it uh, went down to my parents and now I am the proud owner of the antique shop and we travel a great deal with it. Eh, no sea, es un mundo súper fantástico porque te vuelve, te vuelve fan, te vuelve fanático de lo que es la antigüedad y la historia de cada cosa. Cada objeto tiene su historia y cada objeto tiene su pasado y es algo súper lindo y que mucha really gente lo valora. Es algo que te gusta ser fan de porque te gusta, te gusta los antiguos. 
and every object has a history behind it, and you like to enjoy that history of the objects. Thank okay, you. next up we have Paraguay. Reach into the bowl and hand me a question. I didn't wear my heels today. Okay, the question comes from Switzerland. What values would you like to teach your children? La pregunta la hizo la señorita de Suiza. Y la pregunta es, ¿qué valores quisieras tú inculcar en tus hijos? O sea, el valor importante que toda familia debe inculcar a sus hijos, lo que hace mi familia conmigo con todas mis hermanas, el respeto, es mantener siempre la igualdad, tratar siempre de mantener la igualdad de todo. The greatest value that everybody should teach their children is exactly what my family does with me. It's to love everybody as equals and to love everyone. Thank you. Paraguay, thank you very much. Paraguay. Runner-up for Mission University 2006 is Paraguay.